Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to finally throw some clear coat on this guitar. So in our last video, we took a razor blade and scraped back the binding, basically scraped the paint off the binding so that we now have said binding again. If you haven't watched the videos up to this point, you're going to want to check them out. It's been a very interesting build so far. Put in a belly carve, did our finished sanding, changed our neck pocket to accommodate a humbucker, filled all the holes for the pick guard because we're not going to use one of those. And we did this paint job, which has actual rivets in it. So stuff's pretty crazy so far. I'm pretty excited to get this guy finished and we're taking a big step today. We're putting on the clear. So for this one, I'm gonna be using a catalyzed polyurethane automotive clear coat. I'm gonna be running it through a paint gun because I wanna get the best finish possible. In order to do this well, you're gonna need a decent quality paint gun. There are lots of them out there. Um, I'm gonna be using probably my favorite at this point, the Warwick 980H. I have a deal going with Warwick, so if you wanna take a look in the description below, if you're interested in one of these, or the 904H would also be a good option, and it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, there's a website there for that. If you want one of these guns, you put in my name, 10%, so Brad, 10%, all caps, no spaces, and you can get 10% off one of these. So I'm gonna load this guy up. The catalyzed urethane that I'm using is a two to one mix. It's a fairly inexpensive brand, uh, Upol. Definitely good enough for a guitar, maybe not good enough for a Ferrari, but it's gonna be perfect for what we are using it for. And uh, you know, it's a good way to save a little bit of money as opposed to buying one of those like $400 gallons when you're painting guitars. If you're doing this, you're also gonna need a mask for sure. This stuff will harden in your lungs and make a hell of a mess of you. And you're also gonna to wanna to use gloves most likely because it also hardens on your hands and it's got chemicals in it, it's got solvents. That stuff can enter your bloodstream through your skin. I, for a change, am actually gonna wear gloves because the whole do as I say, not as I do thing is getting kind of old probably. So I'm gonna mix that clear, two to one ratio, two parts clear, one part hardener. Most clears are four to one, so keep that in mind. And some of them also have reducers that you need to mix in there. I'll get that mixed up, load up the gun, I'll have my safety equipment on and we can get going on this. Let's roll. All right, well that's it for the clear coat. I think that is looking pretty awesome. 
As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because we're not done here. We still got to attach the neck. We got to do some polishing work. We got to get it wired up. There's lots left to do. So stick around, stay tuned. Don't miss those videos. If you haven't seen the rest of the series, go back and check it out. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.